We are joined by Jeff and Michael from the Anello. And while that was playing, we were talking about what you do when you're performing live. Who does what? Yeah. Jeff is singing. Yeah, yeah I, I do the vocals. We uh, that. And, I, and I write um, most, if not all, the lyrics on these. Of course, like I mentioned, personal experience uh-huh. uh, on some of those things. But that's that's the easy job, in my opinion. Uh, Michael's the one who kind of does all the work in the performances and then even most of the stuff in the production side of it as well. So take, take it over, man. Uh-huh. Tell me what you do. In the actual performance, I'm playing some trumpet, doing some background vocals, I'm playing a bit of keys, and then I'm DJing the tracks. That's quite a lot to yeah. concentrate mm. on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, they how say, do you manage they, you that? Know, you know how they say men can't multitask? Oh, well, that's definitely proving that men can indeed multitask. <laughs> There's a lot of musical stars going on there. There's an uh, incredibly soulful vocal, uh, and then you've got all the electronics, but then there was a trumpet? Yeah, there's yeah. A, a little bit of trumpet there. That's me. That's that Michael on on trumpet there. So yeah. how, I mean, what are your influences? I mean, like I said, it was, for me it sounds very very soulful. And when I first heard you guys, I thought, oh, yeah, you take this as a compliment. <laughs> sounds a bit like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> the, the voice. It's, yeah. a, it's a compliment. He's the yeah, you know, Prince of Pop. So you you can't help but be compared to people who have paved the way to kind of give you some influences. Exactly. Uh, if I said it, you, you remind me of Engelbert Humperdinck. You'd be like, what? <laughs> uh, but what's the way? That, but do you think that is is helping you in Hong Kong? The way that it's becoming more, it's become more part of the consciousness than it used to be. I think that a, a lot of the music is actually expanded tremendously since I've been here for the past seven, eight years. There's a lot of different venues. Uh, people are excited to go to venues and see live music, and I think that helps out just the community of music and just actually the community in general because it gives you some vibes some feeling that maybe you don't normally listen to but then you get a taste of that and experience what really music can do for you in general but you know at the end of the day like you got to make some cash yeah you're right yeah 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 and if you if you really focus on what your art form is there are interesting savvy corporations who will want to hire you um specifically for at least a portion of what it is that you do. So you you really can stay true to yourself in your actual performance Mm -hmm. and still do a corporate gig. But is there anything else that the public can go to? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you can check us out on Facebook, of course. Uh, the Anello, A N E L L O, The Anello, so okay. Facebook, and we're also on Instagram and SoundCloud. You can hear all the songs on SoundCloud too. Fantastic. Wonderful, okay. guys! It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank uh, you so much. Thank look, you so much. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you soon. So Indeed. we will try and crash that party. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Let us know. <laughs>